Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Every company needs to manage its cash flows and accounts receivable or AR balances effectively. What if all the account receivable collections information is managed in one central view? Well, the good news is, Microsoft Dynamics provides a feature-rich workspace to facilitate all the credit and collections management into one single space. In this video, we are going to talk about the fundamentals of credit and collections workspace. The learning objectives for this tutorial. First of all, we will go through a detailed understanding of what exactly is credit and collections workspace, and then we will talk about how to create and close activity in the case management system. So, what makes credit and collections in Microsoft Dynamics truly extraordinary? Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations enables you to manage the entire collection management, right from generating customer account statements to being informed of balances as and when due. What's more, you can see customers' calculated age balances at any given point in time and automatically apply overdue payment charges to past due balances. Now, what is the function of the workspace in credit and collections? The workspace is a new area in D365 where all the data related to credit and collections is graphically represented. It is a centralized view of analyzing customer aging, customer credit limit, tracking customer statements and fees, collection letters, credit, and collection notes. The workspace is personalized with data, reports, and transactions, and is basically designed in such a way to make daily tasks more efficient. It covers the following nine factors. The first point is the activities related to payments due from customers. Second is the open cases. Third is all the collection letters that have not yet been printed or posted. Fourth point is the sales orders which have been kept on hold. Then the fifth point is a list of customers who are over their allowable credit limit. Sixth is the payment or receipt journals that have not yet been posted. The seventh point includes interest notes which have not yet been printed. Eighth point includes the interest transactions which have not yet been posted. And finally, the ninth point talks about a dashboard of aged balances, disputed balances, promise to pay balances, and promise to pay broken deals. Now, let us proceed on how we can create an activity for a particular dispute in the credit and collections workspace. First, click on the case ID of a particular customer to create an activity. I am taking an example of Sparrow Retail. Here, the customer will get associated, but not the transaction. So to add a specific transaction to this case, click on Add, then select Customer Transaction, and give the ID of that particular customer transaction. Then click on Save. Now, in the Above General tab, click on Activities. So here, we will create a new task for case management. Here you can give the purpose of the task. For example, I'm writing Price Dispute. For this, you can select the actual person who is responsible for taking up this task. Here is a list of people. I will just select a random person from here and click Select. We can also add the Responsibility tab as to what the person is responsible for. Now, coming down, we can also write the notes over here, like, quote, The customer dispute is still under process. Beside the note box, there is a Start Date tab. Now, the start date is the date when you had created this case, and the due date is the promised date by the customer when he is entitled to pay. If this case gets resolved, then you can close this activity over here, and then you can finally click on Save. So, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next module of Case Management on Microsoft D365. Thank <laughs> you.